Hey, what's up? Jesse Minch here with GetHandles.com. Got basketball answers for you today. Today's question comes from Zach from Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. His question is, Hey, how many hours did you use to practice ball handling as a kid? And what did you include in your practice of ball handling? Also, what kind of things are involved in your new program that comes out tomorrow? And how much will it be? Um, well... First things first, how much did I practice when I was younger? Oh man, ah, it depends. When I, when I was really younger, I used to practice, you know, maybe an hour, maybe a two, you know, three, four, five days a week. Um, I play basketball more, you know, just kind of for fun, whatever, this is cool. Um, but once I got a little bit older, more into high school age, I started taking basketball a lot more seriously and really, really working on my game a lot. Um, and, and between ball handling and training, I would do all kinds of different drills, really. Um, I picked up all kinds of ball handling DVDs and tutorials and you know I just I soaked in as many resources as I could and I, I really practiced a lot of different things um, and went through a ton a ton of different types of uh, training techniques and you know uh, DVDs from you know coaches um, Larry Bird instructional DVD I had I had a uh, one with uh, Bobby Knight and just all kinds of stuff so I, w I went through all different kinds of drills all kinds of tutorials and Really, I can't just say there was one thing I worked on, um, but one thing that I really found helped me a lot was working on just getting into more games and playing in more games and working on game-specific type moves and a little bit less on stationary drills. Um, I mean, stationary drills are very important. They're going to help you a lot, but you also have to make sure you're implementing a lot of game-specific um, type you know, moves. Um, so that was one thing that helped me a lot that I worked on a lot. Um, and then, of course, you know, if you've seen some of my videos, I do a little bit of the freestyle and trick stuff. So, you know, I kind of practice that, too. And I actually feel like that's benefited me as a fundamental player a lot as well because it's really improved my body coordination, my flexibility, my strength, my balance. Um, there's a lot of factors that you work on with that that you wouldn't normally do in most regular basketball training. So I found that a lot of that's been beneficial. But as far as how often I practice, man, when I, in, the, in the thick of it, when I was really training hard for like three, four years, um, and I still train hard, and I'd say go about an hour to two, sometimes three, four hours, about five days a week right now. Um, but when I was really, really training hardcore, man, I would, I would literally, um, you know, before work, I would train, you know, after work, I would train if it was in the summer and days off, I would train most of the day. It would be up to five, six hours a day, um, anywhere, you know, down to at least I would, every day I would try to get in at least a half hour of practice, um, seven days a week, um, for like three years, man. And then as far as, uh, what was the other question here? I kind of rambled for a bit there. Um, what kind of things are involved in the new program? Okay, so the new program he's referring to has actually been out now for a little while already because he asked this question about a week or two ago. Um, but it's speed handles. Um, the, it's uh, basically working on, you know, really improving your ball handling ability and control and your ability to, of course, you know, dribble the ball fast and, and, and use that speed to really, uh, you know, create space in a game and find, you know, ways to really just improve your ball handling coordination, speed, and ability and control. Um, so there's a lot of different things involved into it. Um, we really it attacks speed from four different uh, aspects to really make sure you're working on not just your speed, but your control, your strength, your power, and and being able to use it in a way that's going to actually benefit you in the game so you're not just working on getting faster you're working on getting faster in a way that allows you to use it in a game with dribbling the basketball um, and as far as how much it is um, I had a huge uh, deal for people when it first came out um, I don't know if I'm gonna have that again but um, so yeah if if uh, if you guys I mean really though if you if you're looking to improve your speed with ball handling and your control and just your overall ball handling ability I think this is the best program you can get out there right now so if you want more information on that and you're not uh, signed up to my uh, get handles uh, daily tips make sure you head over to get handles.com there's a free workout for you right away there and uh, you can get a free ball handling guide and you know with the daily tips you know I'll always give you information on how you can access uh, some of these really elite ball handling programs they're gonna make you a phenomenal basketball player and uh, ball handler um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe down below, and head over to facebook.com slash gethandles. If you got a question for me, you can leave it right there on the wall or message it to me if you don't want to put it on the wall. And uh, I'll try to respond to you, or at least as many of them as I can, because I've been getting a lot of questions already, but I'm trying to get to as many of them as I can. And uh, stay tuned for more videos, and I'm going to try to get...
you guys some more answers. Thanks for watching.